Alright. Looks like we're going. We're not gonna have anyone for a few seconds probably, but uh Let's see. Uh Persona 4. Uh, heaven from Persona 4, you get this the uh platinum. Pursuing my true self, that's all gold prizes on hard. Axis Mundi, Heartful Cry. Do not know if I've heard that. Heartful Cry? It's from uh, Persona 3 FES. Oh. We need to get through and play that at some point. Do I have some messages? <laughs> I'm working overtime. Ah. Uh. I love this one. <laughs> well, ignore that last one. <laughs> uh, do you like cake? And then he signs it Tobias. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, Dr. Tobias Kinke. is just awesome. Or Toby's just hilarious. Yeah. Something was weird, but it was my first time, so... Uh... <laughs> Alright. Poor Toby. Even though he's getting himself into. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna want you to do, Ghoul, as well, is if you can just keep an eye on the chat. Um, yep, yeah. uh, you got it. Uh, also, the cake is a lie already. Yep. Lovely. <laughs> I can I can just barely see it at the bottom of my screen, but. Uh, All right, let me go ahead just... and shrink that so I can get that on the very edge of my screen, so I can get both of those without having to kind of swap between the two screens. Alright. Alright. So, does it matter how drunk I am at the bar when I when I go and uh, redo it? I've actually read conflicting things about that, that it actually makes no difference. I did find out in one of my playthroughs that how drunk you are at the bar, like when you drink, it actually does not forward time at all, which I thought it did. Uh huh. So there's actually no penalty to drinking and you get achievements for it anyway, so there's no reason not to drink. So if it is supposed to make you faster, I've heard that you don't run any faster, maybe you pull your blocks a little you quicker. You climb or, faster. Yeah, or maybe you climb a little faster. I know that for I sure. You, you are a speed demon. Um, otherwise, you climb about as fast as... Uh... Catherine and Mission A, God. <laughs> uh, but actually, I'm not even 100% sure, like I've read, because there are some people that were looking into speed running it. Yeah. And they said that they're not entirely sure if it's actually faster or not. Or if the animation's even just slightly different or... Because if you think if you think about it, speed running it, you'd have to make the uh, conscious decision to actually get right. The because it takes two drinks to get drunk, basically, and that's the drink itself. It takes three of those plus the mono like Vincent does, plus the uh, trivia. So that's a decent chunk of time. Right. What should I get? I think I want sake. Let's do sake. Because, yeah, I mean, going through all that takes forever. Yeah. And it's probably faster just to... But, I mean, I'm not I mean, speed running. That's Yeah, the speed running, I mean... It'd be interesting. I can't wait till they actually start doing it. I'm hoping they do it as a single segment or uh, something like that. Because individual levels run, I don't think, would do the game quite justice. But so If you don't know what the difference is, uh, individual levels run is where they split the game up and say, okay, 9-1, fastest time on that, 9-2, you know, 1-2, all this stuff, all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then a single segment or a total will be everything in the game from the story mode, where you boot up the game and that's when it starts, you skip the cutscenes, you get through the game as fast as possible, and then at the very end, your time is... Mm -hmm. I saw a speed run of Final Fantasy thirteen. that was just amazing. Uh, no, some of them are just crazy. Like you, could, somebody beat Ocarina of Time in an hour. Yeah. By just, you can skip uh, a whole bunch the, of stuff in in that game, can't you? Uh, yeah. The guy actually runs on the wall at one point of the game. <laughs> All right. So I have to go to awards, right? In order to do these. I golded stage two, got bronze on stage one. So, uh, <laughs> do you guys want to see stage two in the chat there? Stage one is the tutorial stage. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, it's no, about as straightforward as it gets. Yeah, and, and even on hard mode, it's not terribly hard to gold. Yeah, even though you I, failed at gold your first time, I can't believe you did that. 
Actually, I, I still haven't golded it. I just haven't had <laughs> to do it. Uh, no real point to. Uh, no, not that I've gold uh, everything. I've, uh, there is an achievement for golding everything on hard, and that is going to take forever. If if you can. <laughs> uh, I think I can. I'm, I'm at the, I think I'm at the very edge of being good enough to clear obelisk. Yes, Kuma, my voice is deep. That's what you get when you're six foot three, one ninety, and your dad is a former football player. You get a <laughs> deep voice. My dad was not a formal former football player. I used to be a base. I I seriously used to be a base. But then I was forced to sing West Side Story tenor lines and uh, now I'm not a base. Yeah, my dad actually has a deeper voice than me, believe it or not, so All right. crazy as that seems. Kuma, Alto, what do you want? Do you want uh, stage three or go back to stage two and and uh, die? You gold is stage two too. Oh yeah. Looks like the same trophy. Got a boy. Yeah. A little impressed there. Good job. Thank you. Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> stage two on normal is about like stage eight on easy, so it's not really. Uh, or really, stage anytime. Four. Yeah. Anytime you get a boss fight, you never know what's gonna happen. That's. Yeah. Oh god, bosses on harder. Hard? Just a bit. I mean... Somewhat difficult? Alright, since I'm not getting any response, I'm gonna try... Uh, I'm gonna try this one. Sounds good. You're re-challenging the nightmare. Are you ready? Mm. Are we ready? Are we ready, Ghoul? Oh yeah, we gonna I've do this? this on my own. I'll have golded all the way through right. stage 9. We're good. Alright. Let's do this. Actually, I just realized I'm kind of spoiling that a little bit, but oh well. Yeah, um, we're, I'm gonna... There, there is a stage 9 Alto and Kuma, my apologies. How about, uh, no spoilers after the... I'm not saying what happens in there or why yeah, there is exactly. a stage and There, there the, is uh, one, though. The Catherine scene that, that I just posted, uh, no spoilers after that. Okay. Um... And even that, I think I'd like to not spoiler if I can. <laughs> but we'll get there eventually, so. Hopefully. All right, torture chamber. All right. This is the first level where the spike starts. I love traps. I They're so wonderful. All right. Pretty basic climb in there. Uh, I could have avoided that, but who cares? The problem with uh, spikes isn't in themselves, it's what happens when you find mystery blocks that have spikes in them, or <laughs> when you start trying to use ice, and ice throws you onto a spike and you can't get up in time. Or uh, even worse, uh, no, when... Uh, no back, or you could have actually spidered to the left over there and gone over. Oh, right. See, that's uh, the kind of thing that, that I... Undo, I... you lost your combo. Hit undo. Undo. Alright, keep going. Oh, you're good. I, uh, if you go spider. left there, you can spider around. Should I go left up here? Uh, get the coins. Always get the coins. Not too late. Undo. So, uh... Always get the coins. If you do not get the coins, I mean, there are 1,000 points. No matter how fast you go, it's really hard to make that up. So, you have to keep a combo, and you have to get almost every coin in the game. Alright, you see coins right there. Alright, you're going to want to... Uh, go up. Go left. Oh, damn. Not what I wanted you to do. Undo. Alright. Take it a little slow. Alright, pull up. Pull that one. Up. 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 Alright, spider down. Okay. Actually, undo. I don't undo think I can do much bad, my bad. <laughs> no, Should uh, I just push these, uh, pull this this way? No, 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 no. Undo. Alright, climb up. Go up to the second crack block. Alright, spider down. Oh, shoot. That's... <laughs> Alright, up. Do it. Do it. Go up to the first crack block, then. Alright, spider down. Alright, go all the way across. Go right. I can't. Oh. Shouldn't drop? It shouldn't break like that. It's only a one-step crack block. Even so, I thought... Until you got off... Or, okay. I'm gonna try uh, pulling it this way. Yeah, that's probably the best option. 
um, actually. Yeah, undo that. Go get that, uh, point over here. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. <laughs> it's, almost too, it's almost too easy. It is. Alright, spider over to that. Uh, I don't even is know. Is that a two blocker? Yeah. yeah, it is. Undo. You're gonna want to just spider with that. I, I wonder if I don't just want to go back and go up the cracked blocks. Uh, you still need to get those coins in that pile right there, so you're gonna want to just go back over there. What about. Uh, you oh. lost your combo. But that works too. Just go up to it. Step on it. Go up to the block, or the crack block. Step on it. Spider. Okay. Uh, other way. Spider down. Go the other way. Go ahead and grab that. The block. Or I like the. I like create a block better than. Uh... All right. Drop down. Go up the crack blocks. You're good. Sounds good to me. I love how he kills himself. It's so so useful. <laughs> hey, he also gets rid of all the spikes for you. Yep. Go on. Alright, not much to say there. You, you stole it! Bastard? You thief! Yeah, you better hide! Screw you! All right. Yeah, smack him. He's you being freaking thief. evil. Uh, here? Uh, I would actually go back up. Uh, see the block to the right of the dark box? Pull that out. Undo. Yeah, I'm gonna undo Except when I when I figure it out. <clears throat> now, if you pull that. Ooh, you can't spider if you do that. Right. Uh, pull that one out. There you go. Pull it left. Pull it left? Whoops. Or no. Nope. Pull this left? Yep. Pull it left. And then just climb up? Go. Or go down. Okay, I see. So I'm yeah, going to... You, you gotta... go down, you pull a block out, and you can spider around it. Alright. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> it's a little easier when you're actually playing, because you're not trying to... Yeah, it's just it. a little... I'm trying to think of easy ways to explain these well. Right, spider around. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That should be perfect. Yeah. That's perfect combo. Woo! And I got every coin. <laughs> that should be gold. Yeah, I'm trying to think of easy ways to explain this while still actually getting everything, which is a lot harder than it looks or sounds. Yeah, and the undo button is. Very useful. That's why I why I didn't undo and just waited for a bit to figure out what was going on. And for a while, I, I didn't find this out until I was trying to gold them all. Uh, if you undo, even if you lose your combo, if you go back to a step where you still had your combo, you actually regain it. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, that's insanely helpful. <laughs> Especially on some of the more tricky puzzles. And there are tricky puzzles in normal. Just a couple. <laughs> I would think he's getting a little better, Alto. He's not exactly, uh. I don't know. When you beat the game, it's. <laughs> when you beat the game, you actually have to learn a lot. Like, heck, you even beat a puzzle that took me forever. The one where there's just. Hey, we're gonna give you six blocks to climb. Go. Yeah. That doesn't sound that bad. That was fun. If you look at it. It was a fun level. It was just, oh my god, what are they throwing at me? The plus side of uh, of doing it from the um, from the phone is you don't have the temptation of of uh, buying stuff. So uh, I never bought anything anyway. So I bought a lot of stuff. I didn't realize. Well, I first of all didn't really care. Uh, undo, undo. Or keep undoing until those are go away. Undo, undo again. Why undo? All right, all right it doesn't matter. Just keep, keep going, keep going. <laughs> it was just inefficient. Up, spider around. All right, that works. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. I want a spider from here, because I don't want to step on that. Uh, on that block. Well, it shouldn't affect you either way. So. Oh, I had that. Come on. Stupid thing. Uh. All right. Well, start all the way over. <laughs> Up. I only pulled out two blocks. <laughs> All right, let's uh... Just go, just climb on up. Oh, I didn't realize that was already out. Okay, keep going. Drop. Yeah, this spider technique is one that I almost never use in the LP, which is stupid because it's. Oh, it's one of the it's one of the most helpful that you don't ever 
Think Ooh, about oh, crap. Should let him kill himself there. <laughs> I, I, thought it, I thought I died on the spikes. Those guys will always stand in front of you and try to block where you're going. So they're really helpful with spikes because they'll just jump onto them and then just wait there for you. As soon as they notice you, he's not going to notice you. He's going to be evil like that. Alright. Um... Push that one on over. No, oh, she didn't get rid of the white block for the dark block. That's all right. I'm fine with that. Uh, Spider time. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that. Get out of my way, pal. Now I'm gonna run out of combo. All right. Actually, you could have just straight up spider around from that one. Looks like to me. There we go. That's all the coins. The pull, pull, pull block. Oh shoot. Undo. There you go. You got your combo. All the your combo. Wow, it's all full? full. Yeah. Yep. It goes all the way to full. I thought it would only go to it's, where it was. It's so abusable. Uh, it's even better against boss fights because you completely undo their attacks. Yeah, that's that's best. <laughs> all right. Uh, push over to the right side. Uh, yeah. I would say that. Uh, go ahead and ah, spider over. Just hit drop down, but that works too. Uh, you're gonna spider. Now that's something I almost never did. Uh, the things you learn in Alter that are really, like, important are spidering, does a ton, and, uh... Come on, push. Come on. Um, uh, just like that. That says spike boss. We can, oh, you're good. Oh, you had your combo, I thought. No, I lost it. Oh. Crap! I didn't hit undo fast enough. <laughs> You gotta be careful when you drop onto a spike block too, because it takes you just a second to recover. Yeah. Ugh. They said spike blocks are not fun. They find ways to kill you at the worst times. You're gonna want to completely restart, by the way. Not restart from checkpoint. I thought you said that I kept my combo. Nope, you start with a fresh combo, but you still keep your points. And that's a lot of time not enough. And yes, Alto, that does hurt. Especially... When you're doing the final boss and he winds up killing you on the last couple steps and you go, oh, I gotta restart the entire thing. Final boss is a piece of cake. <laughs> At least not. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Nope, you're just gonna climb straight up. Yeah. We'll get you there yet, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna stay here. I like pulling out the heavy blocks. I don't know why. Uh, you just collapse part of the stage. That was a complete waste of time. <laughs> yeah, stay in there. Let him. Oh, let him kill himself. Oh no, he's just gonna go ahead and run. Wow, smart sheep. He dies up there, yeah. Huh. Usually they'll stand trying to block me and just get killed there. All right. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> that was stupid of me. Uh, okay. Yeah, if you can't climb against, or the best thing to do is just. Uh, Get out of the way. <laughs> Alright, push that one block to your right, off to the right one. Undo. Push that off to the right, pull one out. Spider. There you go. So what's the point of the uh, of the check checkpoints if they don't work? What? <laughs> I didn't even pause there. I've done that a million times. The point it's basically to help you clear the level if you can't get past that. Go to from beginning. <sighs> <laughs> uh, they're not four score attacks, which is what essentially a gold run is. But yeah, beyond that, uh, so I'll just I'll just keep doing this a billion times till I get past the stupid. Oh, you get to the point where you memorize levels. Yeah, I've more or less got this one memorized. So, I could, I could say I've got the beginning of uh, the stage you just posted in your LP. A normal mode almost burned into my brain from doing it so many times, and still couldn't clear it. Ugh, that was a nightmare. But I'm. Yeah, no, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, that was not what I wanted to do, but that's alright. I can just. <laughs> you also could have just un used an undo on that, and we would have gone right back where it was. It's okay though, you're learning Alter style. Yeah. 
I'll tell you one thing. One of the that is huh? not that is not what I said. <laughs> How did it think you hit the X button? I I did hit the X button, but I wanted to hit it to the left there, so I didn't have to. Uh, I see, because you're gonna have to get the item anyway. You're gonna get the white block anyway, so right. using there doesn't make a difference. I'm also at the point where I don't use items unless absolutely necessary. You kind of don't need to for the most part. No, but they make things a ton easier. I'm going to climb up the left. Alright. Run! Didn't need to do that. I know. Okay. Oh, uh, you're going to avoid the spikes. <laughs> Smart. Uh, You're gonna have to do that. I freaking I kept moving. It didn't move for me. Controller. Controller issue. I thought you were, I thought you were hesitating there because it said you didn't need to do that. You're like, what? And then boom, um, death. Oh boy. <laughs> I will get to five inches from the end seven times before I'll actually beat the thing. I'll I'll bet you that much. How how many am I now? At least six, right? I think that's this I think this is your fifth run. Fifth run. So you're good, just drop down, spider over. It'll be a little bit longer of a spider, but you're good. Didn't actually mean to drop that far. <laughs> Done no problem. <laughs> no, dying on the last block is never fun. You do not wish that on anybody. I have some pretty bad enemies I might wish it on. Um, I don't know, I couldn't do it. <laughs> After uh, spending an hour and a half on stage 8... Oh, uh, come on! <laughs> After spending an hour and a half on stage 8 and then dying on the last block. And then taking another two hours to complete it. I don't think I could wish that on somebody. <laughs> uh... At least if they cared about the game. If they don't care about the game at all, they can die at all. <laughs> they can die on the first block and never get past it. That was so annoying. Sometimes, sometimes this controller, seriously. Well, it might be better if you use an arc. I've always wanted to try an arcade stick on this. I think it would work pretty well. I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you don't. I'm just. I'm just. This is random musings by Ghoul here. It's a game that seems like an arcade stick would work well on. Actually, one of the more interesting things I've seen is a guy actually played uh, the first level of Sonic Unleashed or with uh, a Guitar Hero controller. Oh, I've played with a Guitar Hero controller before. That's fun. Uh, it's just funny. It kind of shows how easy the first level of Sonic Unleashed is. Turn. All boost. Nice. It's kind of finicky on the turning thing. Even on the PS3, I have problems with just straight up turning as opposed to actually moving. Yeah. I mean, the controls get the job done, but they're far from perfect. I mean, I mean, and there's some stuff it should explain a little better than it does. Like you should learn Inazuma on the on the second level. So. Okay. Drop down, drop down, drop down, up, up. This one. One more. Spider. Oh, you stupid spider. Just wait until we learn uh, Control Demolition and have to use that one on system basis. I hate Control Demolition. I, I hate destroying the stage. It's necessary in Alter. Like, if you do not break down the stage, you will not have anything to work with. <laughs> that was a face palm, by the way. You might want to start working with a D-pad. I know it's terrible, but it's got to be better than that joystick. <laughs> now I have a bruise on my face in the shape of a D-pad. Uh... Too bad, the PS3 controllers do have the USB cable. It's too bad you can't suck them up and have the Xbox recognize them as a USB controller. <laughs> I found that that I actually, my PC controller that I have, yeah. actually works with the PlayStation 3. Which is funny because it's labeled 1, 2, like the buttons are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, like etc. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, 
did not expect that to happen. Found that out when I left uh, controller back in Dallas. What in the world was that? You hung on this spot for I just a second. I did not hang at all. I you was did. pushing left before I even got to the center of the block. You, for some reason, you stopped in the middle of it because I did notice it took a little longer for you to get. <laughs> <laughs> That's kamikaze. Kumikaze. Uh, don't you just love Persona 4 bear puns? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you brought this on yourself, Kuma. <laughs> with your name, which totally does not mean bear. Well, like, Kuma means bear. Of course. He's just referring to the Dot Hat character as opposed to the Persona character. Which is totally fine because bear and Dot Hat sign was awesome. <laughs> Alright, run, sheep, run. <laughs> Take out the spikes for me. He spends way too long in that one. So for yeah. for these, I've found that it's better to not try to change the direction you're moving. Just drop down. Yeah, that's usually the best thing to do. There will be times where if I'm really worried about getting killed on one of those, I'll just straight up drop down instead of doing anything else. And oh, oh you are lucky. <laughs> That was a little too close for comfort. Oh man, you're lucky. But yeah, I used to, uh, if there was a huge chain of spike blocks, I every couple of them I'd just drop down anyway. So that way I don't like do something stupid at the very end. Because you will do something very stupid at the end of a long chain of spike blocks by just walk like trying to walk up a wall. Or just stop. Yeah, you, yeah, when you try to walk up a wall you stop. And when you stop, it's always on a spike block. Always. Come on! Alright. <laughs> Stupid controller isn't doing what I want it to. Yeah. <laughs> yep, a fight stick would be really nice, I, I would think. Alright, drop. I had a man fight stick precision in my uh, Catherine. No big deal. I figured out what I'm going to do here. Guess. Guess what I'm gonna uh, do here? No idea. All right, so push. Oh, yeah, you skipped <laughs> one set of coins, but I don't think it'll kill you in the long run. Oh, we'll see in the hut. And if it does, that sucks. Good news is if you don't, if you're doing the replay levels. Uh, you can just, if you hit the uh, circle button when you clear a thing, and it's, if it's not gold, it'll just say, do you want to retry the stage? Uh-huh. But you golded it anyway, so no big deal. <sighs> Dang freaking thing. I'm trying to think. I think you can drop three blocks onto a spike block and still have time to move. I know that if you slide four blocks onto one, you don't have time to move. It's automatic death. That sounds like fun. Oh, it's so much fun. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, circle is B on Xbox. Is the, is the placement the same? Yep. I thought it was A. Oh, really? A is X. And X huh. is square, Y is triangle. Shows how much I play in my Xbox. Literally, I have that thing for Tales of Vesperia. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I don't know. It was a Christmas present. I do not use it at all. Oh look, it's Butt Muncher. I wanna play against the Butt Munchy mu er, Daddy. <laughs> Alright, you can you can play against the Butt Muncher as long as you have a chainsaw. <laughs> uh, Still one of the worst bosses is actually the first one. Just uh, the fork stabbing gets me every freaking time. So much fun dying by a fork. Oh yeah, it's my favorite way to die. I die like that all the time. Yeah, if, you, if you get hit here, just straight up undo and you'll be fine. But you don't get hit, so you're fine anyway. Yeah, it, it changes your controller scheme backwards, which is not annoying in the least. Uh, yeah, it's just not fun. 
Man, 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 man. I like how you have so much free time for that, though. I didn't need to pull that block out. Um, there's a lot of coins here. Yep, you're just gonna have to climb up and drop down to each of those. I'm gonna have to redo. No, keep going, keep going, you're good. Oh, shoot. I don't know. Best way to climb this. Push a block out, push a block below one of those out. Undo. Actually, that worked. That, that's great. Good, smart thinking there. Push, push that out. Push it out. She was getting oh. a little close for comfort. This is going to be a controlled demolition. All right. All right. What am I going to do? All right. Push that block right in front of you out. Now run right, run right. Push that over. I'm going to skip a block of coins here, I think. No, I can uh, spider no. to it. Yeah, you can spider that real easy. Alright. Alright, pull this one out. Yeah, easy enough. Up. Anyway. She's moving a little faster than I want her to. Oh, she's rubber banding like a bitch. Bosses in this game rubber band so bad. I've kept a perfect step combo, no cheating or anything against the first boss in the game, and still lost due to the boss killing me. Okay, see what I can do here. Yeah. Uh, watch out! You get you do have that uh, spike block right there. I have to do that differently than I would have. Smarter than I would have, actually, but differently. <laughs> I like being smarter. Smarter is fun. <laughs> I get it now. Hey, that was actually one try <laughs> instead of thirty like the previous one. That was perfect combo, and I didn't see any coins you missed, so that should be a gold, which will unlock. Uh... Men here. Yep. Ah, uh, many are. So glad I cleared that one in only an hour as opposed to 30. <laughs> I'm sticked off. I was probably 20 away from clearing Obelisk at one point and made two stupid mistakes. And you make a stupid mistake at the top of Altar, or I mean, of anything in Babel, and you're done. Yeah. You make Which a stupid a mistake anywhere in Babel, and you're done. <laughs> No, I've actually recovered from them, especially on Altar for the first 50 steps. Yeah. I make all kinds of stupid mistakes just because I get so bored with it. But you can still make up for it, especially because once you get to 50, the stage basically resets. But after that, any mistake is fatal. Yep. Uh. I'm locked in here. <laughs> Could you even get 10 steps on Axis Moon, do you think? Um, I'm not sure. I could probably get 3. I have problems getting up to or getting up to 20 on that. <laughs> like I'm celebrating if I get to 25. I can't fall asleep here. I love that little line they put in there. I almost fell asleep. All right, so I'm going to save Ah, oh, it's so nice, you know, not actually recording and <laughs> worrying about about dying. Alright, I think I think I'm going to um, try out men here for the fun of it. be fun to watch also Take on the by the way on Meneer basically the two biggest or biggest techniques you need are Inazuma 
and control demolition. And I guess uh, creating support because you need to keep it having like. Because remember the magic number is three. Uh huh. You need to find ways to get groups of three blocks. It's when, uh. When you start getting cracked. Right. It's Inazuma. Okay. Sure. Actually, I looked it up, so I didn't say it wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I do my research. Midstream. All the little quotes they have for these, like between for the loading screens. Yeah. Best part of the loading that, screens. It's too bad they don't have, use those. Uh, and, the, and that's it. The uh, ones where they sit, where the time, the clock ticks, get really annoying, especially when you're. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool idea, and I liked it my first time through the game. On my fourth time through the game, where I'm trying to skip cutscenes, and that's all I see. Yeah. Not the same. It would be nice if it only ticked like three times, but it ticks like 30 times. Yeah. You're sure Vincent will make it through to the finish line? Well, let me prove you wrong, Missy. <laughs> yeah, I got one step! Uh, Inazuma here. Or this. That's one way to do it, I guess. Up. Push the block over to right. That's what I was guessing. Uh, pull the block in front of you out. Uh, let's see. This is one. Wait, go back down again? Look down. Ooh, that's not what I, not what I was hoping for. Uh, pull the block in front of you out. Okay. You get to you get to reclimb up to that area. Start pulling. Yeah, really, really ugly uh, tornado. Yay, tornado time! All right, so now we can't do a tornado anymore. I just pull that out. So. All right, this is one. Pull that block out. Push it all the way right. That was my guess. Uh, you were good there. You need to do that, but okay. Um, go up, push that block out, left one. Actually, think, uh, you just messed that up a little bit. But that actually works. I thought you said push it left one. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but when you pulled the block out in front of it, it, it made it not fall. Actually, no, it wouldn't have fallen. Yeah, it would have fallen. But you're good, keep going. Uh, did you go down. Uh, you're trapped. Whee! That's <laughs> not helping. Nope, I think I'm dead. Uh, oh shit, no, no wait, wait, tornado, 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 tornado. No, uh, That's I'm not dead. the one you wanted to pull. You should have pulled the one out uh, straight ahead. Of you. you might have retrapped yourself by making the left side of that platform fall. Let's see if I can push out. That'll work. Go. Not good thing about <laughs> or, or, good thing about uh, Babel is you have an unlimited number of blocks. So if you just keep destroying them, something will keep spawning. Um. Uh, yeah, push, push. No, no. <laughs> it went back. <sighs> how many steps was that? Not many. <laughs> Go to offline or record, it'll show you how many you got. Three, two, one, five, I was actually five, better at or my first time than it was at Alter, believe it or not. New record, new if you wanted to keep going, it's probably better. Uh, that's not what you should have done. There's no undo button here. No, that. there's not. <laughs> what? Did oh, you no, know I'd... that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, I would kill for an undo button in Babel. What to do here? Oh, that's evil. Yeah. Uh, you really screwed yourself over. Four steps in. <laughs> I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, well, if you do that, it, it has to reload the level. It's the one thing that sucks about checking the scoreboard. 16. <laughs> There's that 18. 16. <laughs> Got to 102 in 724. It's not horrible. That's pretty good. I was stuck on 102 for a good, oh, six months. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. You and Axis Mundi would be... It's just... 
Because me and Asus Moody is pitiful. Yeah. Me on normal mode is pitiful. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Loading screens Stage are long. Two, the Meneer. Babel stands defiant, thrusting into the sky. Will it be conquered? Vincent Brooks. I'm sure he will make it through to the finish line. Now it's time to challenge Babel. Three, two, one, fire. Um, once is in, I kind of took a minor break from Catherine until... Uh, it's one of those games that you get into and get out of. <sighs> Alright. JB, if you see a wall of three, you almost always want to use Inazuma. Push, just push straight. <laughs> You're not working with that. Uh, this is a case where that was the right thing to do. But, all right. Oh crap, that doesn't fall down. Yeah, you had to support on the right there. Push the support out below the one on the right. Not what you should Wait, know. push this out? Yeah. Oh, huh, that's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> that was really high pitched voice for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a speed demon. You hear that? I'm a. No matter what you all say, I'm a freaking speed demon. Oh. Uh, go ahead, go up, push that out, and collapse it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That other whole tower there isn't that important anyway. I feel bad right. for whoever built this tower, because I'm just destroying right. it. False in Azuma. Go take the... Oh, no. Nope. Okay. Say what? I was going to say, you, you could have false in Azuma, where you pretended you had a three block there, and you would have been fine. Pull that out. Nope, go back. Pull that out. Pull that towards you. Now you have a two block to work with. Pull this towards me? No, you're good. Okay. Uh, knock the go up, knock the tower down to your size a little bit, and wow. Push the push that heavy block out. I can only step on this one more time. Yeah, go left. You're gonna have to pull out. Pull that one towards you, and just start running. Go up, start running. Nope. <laughs> Ran uh, too far. He high. killed almost all of it at that point. How many was that? You guys keep a track because I'm busy trying to talk this out. <laughs> Alright, I'll check the record and then we'll go back to actual things I can almost do. <laughs> hey, I, I beat figured. my record! <laughs> uh, 17, not 13. Be a little kinder. Yeah, JB, to, on that, on uh, Minero, do not try to create stairs. That okay. will kill. That will break the tower faster than it will create or anything else. Just keep Inazuma in. Like that's the key on that one. Is to try to avoid making stairs unless, like you know, that it'll get you to a high enough point where it won't affect the stability of the tower. Annoying. Because stairs is like my first go-to thing. Yeah. Whatever I see three, I immediately go to Inazuma. That's. Uh, if I see two. First thing you think about is doing, I call it a false Inazuma, where you pretend there's a third block off to the left, uh -huh. and you pull a straight a block straight out towards you, push it over. That's how you climb that. Uh, the six tall. Yeah, six tall, two block wide tower on hard mode. On fart so mode. I call it a hard mode. Yeah, <laughs> I call I, I call it a false Inazuma though, because it's not quite an Inazuma, because you're not. It you can only go up six blocks. Ah. Uh. They do have ice blocks on Babel Alto. They're so evil. They're in Obelisk, right? I think they might be in uh, or Meneer. I think they might actually be at the higher levels of that one. Oh, fine. I don't know. I, I'm trying to remember. It's either, it's either got bomb blocks or something else. I think you said Obelisk had bomb blocks. I think they they or they might both. They might be. I think he, I know you get spike blocks in Manier. That's when they first show up. Right, open up a new tab in Chrome and check this out real quick. 
And that sounds small. Hey Alto, remember this song? Oh wow. On the wiki they have a total list of wall types that will fall and what you should do to them, or of, of like the wall types that will fall and like what the shapes of the or types of blocks that fall are. Yeah, you can tell that there's only a, a certain number of blocks that they've got. Or a certain number of different types of I wanna to talk to police dude. Morgan. Yeah, I'm not for sure. Maybe. Way too small for me to read though, so let's paste it into this. Really? That was awesome chart and I can't read the key. And it's not getting any bigger. Uh, I wish the other three were here so I could talk to them. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? No! Suck it! I'll talk to Erico. Erica. Did something happen? Don't mess around, man. I'm seriously worried about him. He always hides. Oh, just as trap blocks looks like. You guys are still just So the other ones are all something long enough to find that out. Yeah, Obelisk introduces Ice Blocks, Bomb Blocks, and Mystery Blocks. And you also get uh, Monster Blocks and Spring Blocks. So basically everything shows up in Obelisk. And then Axis Mundi it takes away everything but Crack Blocks, and they throw Black Hole Blocks into the mix. They have Heavy in there, right? No, just straight up Normal and Crack Blocks. Huh. It is that evil. It knows that you will have problems no matter what. Yeah, and then they have Black Hole Blocks everywhere. <laughs> trying to scare me. Eh, I kind of like the small chat. It's easy enough to work with. Oh, it's White Knot. Hi, hey, White Knot. Which I think is... Is White Knot Black Hook? I think it is. It would make sense, I think. 100 hours of P3P. It's funny, I played that game a ton, I think, what was my play clock at, at the end of it? 45? Congratulations! Literally. You successfully completed stage 4? Yep, the Inquisition. But I'm on night 4. Uh, it's kind of a pretty easy thing to notice. You have Black Hook, White Knot, first thing's Black or it's a color, second one is a mundane object. So next thing you need is like red shirt. No, that actually <laughs> sounds like a football player or something. Red shirt? Yeah, red shirt freshman. So I'm gonna raid the mm. fridge real real quick, we'll be right back. <laughs> My play clock, I think, was at 45 hours, but I swear I lost a good 10 due to game overs from stupid. Knock down one person, group attack, and nobody can take the blow for the main character. Green pants. Oh yeah, there is a teddy doll in the bar. A teddy doll in the bar? Yeah, uh, if you look over to the right, and your camera can't quite go there. You'll have to stand up to see it. Shut up, Justin. You're awesome, but shut up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a teddy doll here. I must go see it. I must see the kuma. Yeah, right. You're standing in the way of him. Now you're standing in the way of him still. Like, you oh, can see I, see you... him. Yeah. I see him! I see him! Total cameo. I love that. That's awesome. Beyond the fact that we have Kanji as the main character and <laughs> Rize is a uh, sexy beast. Hey, okay. Um, what was I trying to do? Was it? I think I was trying to keep it to true freedom. So. Oh, sweet. Go for the text junkie too. 
So this is Catherine, I'm assuming. Catherine. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is Catherine. <laughs> All right, C3. Uh, I'll, I'll use the uh, things I did with my sister when I played through this. Yeah, C3. Uh, basically, just be nice to both of them, and in general, they'll uh, keep responding. You can get text junky. I'm still at work. Why do you care? And I'm drinking with friends. Drinking with friends, right? Uh, that one. This one was. Uh, what was the first one? I'm at work. Yeah. What's the second part of I'm drinking with friends? We'll talk later, or That's don't it. come bother me. We'll talk later. Yeah. My personal favorite ending was probably. Uh, See. Uh, also. True, Catherine. Although true Seathrun was hilarious. I, I oh. love I love uh, Catherine with a C her and I never got the true ending spoilers, but uh, it's awesome. Uh, right. I don't know, the one problem with the true ending is it's a little bit seri more serious than the act than the uh, just normal ending is. I mean the differences between them are you get a, a little cut like the you the bad ending and you have the good ending which takes cuts off the end of the bad ending, stitches on a good ending. And then the true ending adds line a cutscene at the end of it. So basically, you see the same cutscene for, which is a little annoying when you get to see all the cutscenes or, or when you try to get all the endings. Mm -hmm. but, but the one at the end, the the little thing at the end was amazing. I just love that. Uh, I just I just love. Uh, oh gosh, I want to spoil that so bad, but I'm not going to. Right. Yeah, it was Catherine's good ending is one of the funny or Seathrin's good ending. I got silver oh. on night four. Well, how about that? <laughs> yeah, no, there's there's some cool things, especially like uh, there's a little thing I noticed, or I didn't notice it until I checked out the wiki or whatever on uh, Catherine's true en or Catherine's true ending. Yeah, and, we uh, gotta stop talking about endings. Or I'm gonna spoil something. <laughs> no, there's there's a pretty. Uh, Good little cameo-ish thing if you look at it right. I actually didn't notice it my first time through. Oh yeah, you was, told me oh about that. Oh my gosh, that was that was kind of cool. Yeah. All right, time for time for night four. But you guys don't get to see that unless you get evil and look it up on YouTube, which you shouldn't do. Well, I had to. Yeah. Oh, well, you beat the game already. Right. Like, I, I was debating doing that myself until I realized, oh, when you go to level, you can actually skip the. Guma, don't do it. Wait until all the stuff. end of the LP. Yeah, wait until the end of the LP, then you can see all the different ways it ends. Uh, Persona 4, right? Four? Yeah, Persona yeah. 4. So, if one of you guys catch it, I will give you guys a cookie or something. Internet cookie, not real cookie, sorry. The cookie is a lie. And if you don't catch it, I'll give you a line of ice blocks that drops off into a spike trap or a pit. Like what I'll find here. <laughs> In my absolute favorite stage ever. I hate this one so much. So you know what? Die! <laughs> yeah, I love doing that. You just yeah, four of them. I also love how you're basically a murderer like right there and you're okay with it. Inazuma, go. No. No, thank you. Jesus. Stupid thing. And now I've broken my combo. But that's okay. Oh, yeah, you still got it. Combo of eight. I don't think you're any higher than that. Oh, wow. You're. You're at full drunkness, too. I don't know why you're that slow. It's huh? weird. Come on, hold. You should be able to do Inazuma without breaking a combo. I should, but uh, I, I stopped at one spot accidentally. Because of my controller. Uh, more Inazuma. Yeah. And they don't teach you Inazuma before this. Right. Uh, so imagine doing this on normal with no clue how to do Inazuma and not having looked it up and trying to do this. I actually do not know how I clear some of these levels. This I one really actually don't. isn't that bad without Inazuma, it's just annoying. You just make it's... a stare up the side of the tower. I'm not sure if I could have done. I mean, how I did it actually, because it's a pretty tall tower. Yeah. La -de -do. 
Oh, that's basically what I think I tornadoed it somehow, and I'm actually not entirely sure how I did it. I probably tornadoed it. Oh, that oh, was you did it on that easy. Was... It wasn't. It wasn't like that on easy. Oh yeah, those two just drop down and kill themselves. Do not. Don't go up. Don't go up. Okay, good. I got this. I got it. <laughs> if I remember correctly, it wasn't that hard on easy. Yeah, easy is somehow much easier than normal, which is somehow much easier than hard. Are you sure there's no ice on the Inquisition? I thought there was. I thought this is uh, where we got ice. No, the first, the first level where they introduce ice, there's a ton of ice on the very first step. Oh. Hmm. So, I'm trying to... I think they introduce... No, bomb blocks come after ice blocks. Right. I think they just keep another round with just what they... That's right, the Inquisition's really short. Now this is the evil baby. <laughs> Not... I don't know. I actually laughed when I first saw Baby with Chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Kuma. This is Quadrangle. That's my favorite one. The There's uh, one puzzle in Quadrangle that I hated. I couldn't stand the boss. The boss would kill me before he got even halfway up the tower. I think that's the, the one where I just had the death montage. <laughs> worst thing about uh, the quadrangle was uh, well, there's one part where it's just straight up. It's there's a, there's a skating rink basically on one spot uh -huh. with holes in it, yeah. and you have to figure out how to navigate it. Oh my god! And there are coins I had to get to on that too. So I had to figure out okay, I have to spider over here to get to this point. There's a block I can grab over here. Brutal stuff. That's not creepy at all. I love that one. <laughs> Half of his lines are just brilliant. No, the baby without the chainsaw is actually creepier than the baby with chainsaw. Trust me, this is much worse. I am not sure on that. I. Inazuma, Inazuma! Come on. Three block wall. That should be default. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Push it over. Climb, just climb, 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 spider. Spider. I think you don't even learn Inazuma for this yet, I. No, you don't. I think you learn at the one after. Although I don't think it's re Inazuma really isn't re back. Thank you. <laughs> Inazuma isn't required until after uh, on normal mode until after you learn it. On the other ones, it's actually required before you learn it. Come on, stupid freaking controller! I'm gonna murder you. And the problem with using undoes is that the boss actually doesn't reset to where he was, so he actually keeps climbing. So yeah, you're gonna, you might have a problem with the boss catching up to you here. We actually yeah, push. Yeah, you're good. Push it over. Climb up. Yeah, staircase that. Grab the coins. Grab the coins. Grabbing the checkpoint didn't help you, but okay. I know it's reflex. Don't hit me. <laughs> That's one you can just create a staircase for, and don't need an Inazuma. Come on! Uh, Inaz I guess that was technically an Inazuma. That thing does uh, not go up when I tell it to. Just get the energy button drink. It's helpful, but I do not see the... Or the easy way to get to it is going to be to drop down. Right, and, and that's just a waste of time. Well, no, it wouldn't be that slow. It might actually have been worth it, but at the same time, you can play this without it. Right. And I'm so conservative with items anyway that I just don't use them. I'll uh, I'll keep my creative block on me for now. That's one of the more useful ones. It's one of the most useful ones. Yeah, go ahead and cross over here. Um. Hmm. Uh, pull one out. Push it across. There, that like works. that. Yep. Now reach over. Pull one up. You're gonna use that as a staircase. Energy drinks are very useful. The ability to climb two blocks at once is really nice. Uh, yeah, this is. I remember. Push that out. Push it over one more. Stay away from me, baby. Keep 
keep going. Just run straight across that. You're there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect combo. Perfect climb. Got a boy. <sighs> All right. <laughs> The key to making long streams for LPs or whatever, because I normally record for like three hours on end or something. Yeah, I can tell you kind of just disappear for about three hours at a time. Yep. Which is fine, because especially on RPGs, it's the best way to play them anyways. You right. Just, you just set aside a three-hour block and say, I'm going to play you from now until then. That's what especially for said. something. Um, okay. <laughs> the problem with me in Persona 4 is that as I play Persona 4, I never like pick a good stop to spot or to stop. <laughs> yep. Spot to spot. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was a verbal a... typo right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I always have problems with picking a good spot to stop, so I just kind of keep going. Don't get me wrong; it's a great game, but it's I do some really stupid stuff as far as just keeping playing, and I'm like, eh, I could stop there, but I wonder what happens next. <laughs> That's the best part about that game. You gotta keep playing it. Oh no, it, yeah, it sucks you in. Like, very few games I've played. Good stuff to spot, yep. In fairness, uh, they do have the same letters. <laughs> in my defense. I'm just vocally dyslexic. There's actually a term for that. It's called dysnomia. Huh. Learn something every day. Let's talk to boss. My friend looks melancholic. You mean me? Sorry, but I don't have any problems for you to talk about, boss. Is the rest of your group working tonight? <laughs> Some days our schedules don't meet up. That's all. It's a bit lonely without them. Yeah, speaking of which, the biggest reason men start thinking about yeah, the other the only problem the biggest problem I have with P4 and saving is that I uh, you have to remember what to do next, which is why I was really happy when I would save inside the uh, TD because. When you're inside the TV, it's really easy to know what you're doing next. You just keep climbing. Right. But when you save inside the actual city itself, like you're like, okay, it's Tuesday. <laughs> this social link is available. Uh, this is what I was trying to do. Oh, that's right. There's a side quest I was working. Yeah, not fun. That's why I, want, I normally tried to save at nighttime because if you save in the city or, or at, uh, at school, then... You have no idea yeah. what's happening next. So I normally try saving. saving at night, because then it's just go upstairs and do your homework. <laughs> you got mail. Or whatever. Uh, so far, I'm actually a bigger fan of Persona 3 than I am Persona 4. And part of that's just because that's the one I played first. But I also enjoyed the story a, a little bit more so far. Although I will say the mystery thing in Persona 4 is actually more absorbing than I thought it would be in the beginning. I really like Persona 4's story. Um, it, it, it's... To me, it actually reminds me a lot of Tales of Vesperia in the way that, like, the story itself doesn't seem to be on the same grand scope as Persona 3. Right. Persona 3, you know from the beginning, it's Save the World Aspirations. There's no doubt about it. You know, that's... Uh, in Persona 4, it's not really that. It's just... I mean, you start out, you're hanging... Like, it takes three hours to get to your first battle, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a little darker in Persona 3, and there's also the... Uh, I mean, it's just got a grander scope to it. You know, from the very beginning, this is killing people. You know, this could destroy the world. We need to, you know. And then in Persona 4, it's oh, there's a murder going on. Let's see if we can solve this on our own, like because mm -hmm. the police don't are, aren't on the right track. You know, I mean, it's a very different type of story. It's it turns into a much more character driven than a plot driven story. Not that Persona 4 wasn't very, very, very uh, plot driven. Uh, or, uh, character. Persona 3 is, or, yeah, Persona 3 had some great characters in it as well, but I really and, like yeah, Persona uh, 2. I'm actually very, I'm kind of disappointed I spoiled it, but I'm also not sure I could play it. It's just, it's a, not a very or easy game, and combined with the fact that I don't think it's aged very well. Yeah, I I haven't played Persona 2, but I think I agree. With what I've seen of it, it looks like it it hasn't aged nearly as well as Persona 3 has. Or well, Persona, Persona 4, 3, for that matter. Well, Persona 4, you have to realize, is basically Brand the new. last game. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's, it came out in 2008. It came out like two years after the PlayStation 3 came out. Right. I mean, and looking online, this what I saw the story from Persona 2 it looks awesome. But, I don't know, a lot of the ideas in it are good, but at the same time, it's just not really something that sounds very appealing to me. 
The gameplay but, just doesn't look very fun. I mean, and I, and I could be completely wrong. Yeah. So, I mean, I, um, I will readily admit that. All right, so this is Catherine. I think. It says from... Yeah, that's definitely Catherine. It's not, like, trying to be sexy. It's Catherine. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, but it you doesn't could say ask, who it's you from. Could... About this one? Yeah, it's it's Catherine. Why doesn't it, it, it say who say, it's from? It should say it right under April 4th. Yeah, but it like, doesn't. No, next, it says... Under April 4th, right there. It says from, and then it's blank. Oh, really? And then here, that, that little arrow on the right there, it's blank after it. That's really weird. And all of my... All my texts are like that. I mean, it's obviously K, but still. Anyways, this morning must have been hard for you. Well, I guess I was in the wrong, too, for showing up so suddenly, but I wanted to talk to a little more face-to-face. -face. Bakuk, did you play uh, Innocent Sin first, or did you play Eternal Punishment first? Nah. I can't get that stink out of my room. <laughs> uh, Innocent Sin. I didn't mean to chase you away. Uh... Yeah, that, that's one that'll work. I'm not helping my boss ever again. It's okay. I can't get that stink out of my room. <laughs> I like I'm this sorry. one. Yeah, be, just stay nice. I wanted to protect oh, yeah, that's, you. That's the other way you can tell. Is you get a sigh from Catherine and you get a giggle from C or yeah. from Catherine. Uh, come see me another time. I wanted to protect you. Well, good night. I want to talk to you too. Yeah, so at least you played them in order, Black. Like, it kind of sucks they never published Innocent Sin in, in the U.S. until now or translated it, so you had to do either a fan translation or just go off Eternal Punishment, which I would imagine would be somewhat hard to follow if you didn't know what happened in Innocent Sin. Not impossible, because it's... I mean, the connection is kind of... Uh, it's not quite a direct sequel, but it is. Uh, there's not really any other way to put it. But the story twist at the end of Innocent Sin and why it, it, why the title is Innocent Sin is just, it, it's an amazing thing. Not to mention the title is one of my favorite, that's just one of the best subtitles you can possibly have. I'm sorry. I actually haven't played very many Atlas games. Like, uh, I mean, I've played, I've played Catherine, Persona 4, Persona 3 Portable. Anything else? I think that might be it. Um... Let's see, I played the Trauma Center games. I do no. own Radiant Historia, which I picked up no. very, very, very cheap or compared to what I could get it for now. Like I could probably sell it for what I bought it for, which is pretty impressive. Although they're doing another print run, which is going to kill its value, but that's okay. Um, the I have all the Trauma Center games. Those are all great. I bought the original Persona for PSP because it's getting a little bit harder to find. And, uh... Beyond that, before I actually found out about the Persona series and what they were doing with it and deciding that, it was pretty much Trauma Center and Ogre Battle 64 was published by them in the U.S., but it wasn't made by them, so... Ogre Battle 64 is a great game. Then again, it was the only good RPG for the N64, so... What about, uh, what about the bar talking here? Does this help save them? Uh, yeah, you have to talk to them both in the bar and in the, uh... Nightmares, mm -hmm. and there's a very there's a very specific order that it's best to follow. Like it's Daniel, like they get they go to the bar, and they leave at different times. Right. Like so, Daniel is almost always at the bar early and leaves very early too. Well, so he actually almost, uh, he actually came pretty late, but yeah, yeah he almost, leaves almost immediately. And he's almost one of the first people you want to talk to, and then I think it's. Uh, the two guys, the co-workers that work together. Uh, right. I killed both members. of them, I think. Yeah, those are the two you killed. Todd and... Uh, the guy, yeah, Todd and Archie. Archie, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what is it? It was good. never a competition, or forget about it? Uh, really, either of those should work. It, it's almost just talking to them. Like, will... Maybe it wasn't to you. I mean, it, as long as you stay nice to them, like, if you don't be a total you know, dick and just go, yeah, you're gonna die, ha ha ha. They will I live. almost did that at the end because it was it was basically be really 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 nice to them or tell them to go die. <laughs> no one came through the door. The door just the bell rang, but no one came through the door. Uh, look look at the uh, booths and stuff, or at the bar area, or somebody could have left too. Is the other option. 
I didn't oh, check I did the... Oh, I not know you could check the ATM. That's actually a new one. Morgan left. I didn't check the ATM every night in my LP, and then I realized towards the end that it was actually some interesting uh, stuff there. So hmm. I missed a whole bunch of that, so I'm wondering what I've missed. But yeah, I actually, I did, not e I did not even know that was checkable. So that's... Like, I knew the mirror was checkable, but I didn't realize it gave you a sneak peek at the boss for the night. So that was actually something I was a little uh, surprised I didn't do. It was funny, because I basically was trying to save everybody in my first playthrough, which I actually did. Right. Uh, when he's drunk, he walks kind of really wobbly. When he's sober, he walks with just his hands in his pockets. So it actually changes depending on your drunk level. Actually, I mean, it changes depending on whether you're 1, 2, or 3. Oh, is there a different... Yeah. That's right, there is a slightly different walk animation for... Yeah, so it changes on your drunk level. I Actually, I, that's one of my favorite things about the game is is how that does change. And So he walks weird there because he's drunk. And if you've seen a drunk person or a very intoxicated person walk, that is fairly spot on. <laughs> he's doing the Johnny Depp pirate walk. Except you need to have him walk through here and trip on that and fall. Yeah. Stumble yeah, over so it. This is him at three levels of drunkness, so. Oh, by the way, JB, if you want to get easy achievements, one of the best ways to do it is just drink one of each drink every night at the bar. Uh-huh. And that'll unlock all the uh, alcohol trivia achievements. So that's it takes a while though. It takes a while, but it's also really interesting stuff too. Or at least I was interested by it. I need a beer. So coming right up. But. I wish that the default wasn't rum and cola, because that just sounds disgusting to me. <laughs> Cuba Libres? That's actually not that bad. That's actually uh, my big brother in the fraternity's favorite drink. Yeah, except I don't drink Coke. I don't either, but <laughs> but the only thing I use it for is actually a mixer. <laughs> so, yeah, just the other night I was actually having uh, cheap scotch and Coke, which was actually really good. This is sucking, but here's some trivia about beer. Do you know what draft beer is? Fresh beer still has yeast bacteria inside, which cannot be preserved. However, yeah, I know. I thought the trivia on this I thought was really interesting. So you've already gone through a couple nights, so you're not gonna be able to get all the trivia for them because it's seven trivia and there are seven nights you can actually choose what you drink. Right. Yeah, I didn't actually find out. I thought taking a drink actually moved time forward. It actually doesn't, which I was shocked to find out. So I thought I was just gonna have to do that at the end of every night. It's pretty funny how I did it my first playthrough. I would talk to everybody at the bar, you know, do all that stuff, and then when everyone left, I just started throwing back drinks at the. <laughs> it's like, couldn't I just uh, couldn't I just sit here and keep drinking like seven beers? Yeah, you can drink seven beers if you want. Wouldn't I get the trivia for that? No, you get one. You, get, you only get one trivia per night. Okay. So yeah, trust me, I've looked for every loophole you can. Yeah, one night, one trivia per night per drink. I drink and. So. It does suck that it gives you a default drink because otherwise you could just, you know, two playthroughs through and you pick two drinks every night and wouldn't be a problem, but that's not unfortunately how it works. I think it's sad that you can't really be truly nice to to Catherine with a C. To Seathrin? Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. I don't know. I, just, I mean... It's funny, I actually wound up liking her a lot more after I met uh, Rosé in Persona 4. Which is kind of funny, but... It's from her. <laughs> oh shit, it's from her. Let it ring. <laughs> Do I need a reason to talk to you? Do I need a reason to talk? If you're going to call me instead of text me, you should have a reason. <laughs> exactly. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, we're just randomly texting, and you're just gonna call me now? It's, <laughs> I'm obviously at a bar. I mean, it's not like it's a Skype phone or something, so you can't show me any, you know, videos of yourself. So why the frick are you calling? Actually, there's technology they're working on that should be that they're they're trying to work on getting a seamless transfer between video chat and normal chat on cell phones. Yeah. Uh, especially now that they're having uh, LTE rollouts like big time. <laughs> I know. This is the, that's the ghoul technology tidbit of the day. Sorry, I was laughing at the. She mentioned her daddy there. How how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Seathrin's daddy. He's he's hey. such a nice guy. Hey. Oh yeah, he's he's a sweetheart. Yeah. Do I look like a 
like a good person? I think I killed Archie. Do I look like a good person? Sorry, but no. Yeah. You're not a good judge of character. Are you? <laughs> I'm one of the worst people uh, ever. Huh? Yeah. I did kill Archie, didn't I? Lots of women take their yeah, you killed Archie. He was the second guy you killed. Yeah. It, Todd's the first guy that dies automatically. I found that out from my uh, speed runs where I was just trying to get the endings. Where I actually didn't talk to anybody at the bar other than to progress time enough to text people. Mm -hmm. Even that was just me trying to get the uh, text junkie achievement. After I got that, I just stopped talking to people, period. I just go to the bar and leave. <laughs> Uh, no, you can actually save all five of them, uh, which I've actually done twice, and both times it was accidental because I actually wanted somebody to die my second time to see what happened when they died, and I could not do it. You could have if you tried hard enough. <laughs> I did it. Apparently natural me saves people. Woohoo. Uh, those two are leaving. That's okay. I already talked to them. Justin's leaving. I already talked to him. I am really confused right now. You've been acting strange this week. This never happened before. I'm worried about us. Uh, I don't give a crap about us. Oh wait. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Stop worrying so much. Which one? Um, I don't think this one will matter. You won't get another response from this one. Okay. Should I be mean to her so that I can get my bar back in the middle? Um, probably. Be slightly mean. Not Don't be too, too mean, because it actually does make a difference, which I actually didn't find out until not too long ago. When I was doing the text, when I was trying to get the neutral ending, there's actually a slight difference in the text, like, as far as how much. Like, for a while, like, for a while I thought that was how it was, and then I'm like, it doesn't look like the bar moves any differently, so I thought it was, okay, positive response, it goes this way, negative response, it goes this way. I love this. Don't drink too much. It's not that good for you. Take it from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> Don't drink too much, take it from me. Uh, uh, it was funny. I talked to Erica earlier, and she's like, You've been staring at me, I know you have. He's like, Uh, uh no. no I ah, <laughs> uh, Erica. I think it's about time There's to leave. There's so much you guys don't know about in this game. Uh, <laughs> so many tiny things in here. It really is a giant episode of Arrested Development. Everything that happens in this ties into one of the endings somehow. Except for that, uh... Except for the cable, or the internet guy, the you're internet right. internet guy. Which I, I still, it has to tie in somehow. I I'm can't find not, a way it has. I'm it's... just missing it. <laughs> I'm just looking for more, uh... More little things. I don't see anything. Yeah. Or P3 music, or there's not much of it. I don't think he's unlocked. I've got a lot of songs unlocked because you get one for each achievement. I just unlocked a new one. I'm only missing six. Backside of the TV. I just unlocked this. Nice. But yeah, I'm missing three achievements now. I'm missing getting gold and everything, clearing Rapunzel, beating Obelisk, and beating Axis Mundi. Ah, uh, you can beat Obelisk. I probably can't actually if I gave myself a good two-hour block to do it. Thing is, about time to head home now. Or is there anyone uh, else to talk to? Is everybody come back to the bar, pretty much. Um, Todd probably left before we started recording, so I guess. Uh, have you, have you talked to everybody here a couple times? Yeah. Yeah. Can Johnny and them? They can't die, right? Yeah, Johnny, Orlando. Alright, and Orlando can't die, and we've gone through over the, This has been in the LP. Toby's not in the nightmares anyway, so. Right. Yeah, those guys have to live. I'm just gonna Hopefully. go home. Yeah, that works. I think I've talked to everyone so far. Yeah. Usually I would just talk to random people until it moved to the point where it was just me at the bar, but. You want me to do Rapunzel? I've, I've cleared a good amount of it, actually. Um, but oh, gosh. I'm not That's... very good at it. Oh, Rapunzel is one of the hardest things in this game. I said I was going to skip this. 
Go right on ahead. I'm sure you guys have probably all watched his LP or something similar, so I'm sure you know what happens there. Uh, nothing really does. He just passes out drunk. Yep. <laughs> That's what happens every night. <laughs> All right, Another thing so, that's actually kind of cool about this is that as the sheep die off, there are fewer of them walking towards the door, I think. They're yeah, like, when you get towards the very end, there aren't any of them walking towards the door. Yeah. It's just you. Um, just so you know, guys, what I'm going to do here is just try to beat it. And uh, not worry about golding it the first time through. And then we'll go back at, at the bar and try to gold it. Mm. Alright, as I say, it shouldn't make that big of a difference because this I mean, is I'm, normal, so I'm every gonna, pull gives you two lives. I'm going to attempt to, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, ice. My nemesis. Snow? Snow? Ha, ha. Get it? Snow? <laughs> uh, you and your Final Fantasy 13. Alright, down, down. Okay, that's actually more efficient than the way I do it usually. This is yeah, fun. Whee! All right, so stop screwing around. Drop down. This works or too. Or pull out the heavy block. That works too. <laughs> drop down. Drop down. Drop yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> right, and what are you doing? I don't know. You, you I forgot for a second that I can I can actually pull those. So. Uh... Yeah, you can pull ice blocks. They're actually very fun ones to pull. Slide over. I don't work just that. I'm gonna say slide over to the other side. Go wee. Oh, you, you grab your money. Go smack him. <laughs> oh. Achievement unlocked. New song in the thing. I don't know which one that one is. All right, I'll I'll come back for that. Yeah, you'll have to come back for this. It's not letting me actually do anything. Oh crap. Uh this one. There's a lot more ice in here than, than there was on easy. How's this? Die. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go up. Let's see. Uh you just got a song from DDS Avatar Tuner. Whatever game that is, if any of you guys know what that is, I would love to hear it. But nope, I'm sure nope, it's some nope. Atlas game. Oh, you're dead. I saw that a second after I did that. That's the thing about ice is that it's so easy to make a mistake that kills you. Yeah. At least I picked up a pillow, so. <laughs> oh, so you just doubled the amount of it. <laughs> One for me, two for you. Drop down, drop. Oh, okay, that works too. Drop down. Or not. <laughs> You're a half second late here. <laughs> Am I getting any uh, any lag on the Skype call? Just wondering. Uh, if it is, it's barely noticeable. Nominal. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Blackley, do you know what DDS is? I mean, you said you don't know much about it, but it sounds like you're actually somewhat familiar with the thing, which or with it, which I'm not at all. Yeah, I've never even heard of it before this. Yeah, so... I don't know, it's, I haven't actually listened to any of the songs from it either, so... Oh, Di Digital Devil Saga, that's right. That makes sense. That Avatar Tuner? Is that... DDS2 Avatar Tuner. There are two Digital Devil Sagas? There's only one. Uh, push, push. Push? Yeah. Push again. Keep pushing. Let it collapse. Pull. Pull. Uh, not pretty. Uh, go down. Or Actually, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Never mind. Up. Ignore me. I'm ignoring. I'm ignoring. All right. Push that across. Push that right. You, should, you can go across right there, right? Uh, All right, I can't slide. do anything. Though. Oh, spider, spider, spider. Go over there and spider. Wait, up. There we are. Can I use this while I'm holding on? Yeah, go ahead. Use, the, use your item. But yeah, spider over. Can I use it while spidering? Is that possible? 
No, you can't use an item while you're splattering. You're gonna have to push that out or something. Oh, or you could have spidered around the back. Back spidering is much, much, much more difficult. I hate back spidering. It scares me. Drop down. Actually, you know, if, you just go, if, you, if you're just going for clearing this, we'll just clear it and we'll go back and get the coins and stuff later. Yeah, good point. Back, go over there, back spider. Go up, 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 or not. Pull that back. Go back spider it. Back spidering is more scary than it needs to be. Yeah. I mean, the controls are consistent once you get used to them, but it takes a while to get used to them. Yeah. Yes, it's part of the... I'm pretty sure it's still Shin Megami Tensei instead of just Megami Tensei, but... I think so, yeah. but... I don't know. I like, uh, I like Persona, but... <laughs> Yay, I got bronze! Oh, I do have, uh... Devil Survivor, or whatever the one for the DS is. I do have that. That's actually turning out really interesting. Yeah, no, Shin Megami Tensei was... Was it originally a spin-off, or was it just kind of what it became, like... Mario Brothers became Super Mario Brothers? I don't know, I'm not exactly a Megami Tensei uh, historian. I know I know the basic idea, like the concept that runs throughout them all is just uh, devil summoning. Like in Persona, the devils are actually personas, which is kind of what makes that slightly unique, but like in other ones, you summon actual devils. It might be Shin Megami Tensei. As far as I know, a lot of those take place in the present, and then Megami Tensei is taking place in the past. That could be the difference. This is just me talking out of my ear, talking out of nowhere, though, so I could be completely wrong. I know almost nothing about the series. All I know is Persona 4 and very, very little of Persona 3. I'm actually not even sure. Persona 4 in Japan is just published as Persona 4. I'm not sure it's, like, here it's published as Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. I'm not sure the Persona series is actually published as an official part of the Shin Megami Like, it is. But it's not like Persona 4 as, you know, the uh, subtitle or whatever. Right. Again, this could be me being wrong. Who's the witch or Thank the pregnancy you, was a lie? So. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, dot. Which so. one? Uh, she wants revenge, work up with her. Either one, either of them should make a difference. Uh, yeah, the Persona series really, like, until Persona 3 and Persona 4, it was a lot more run-of-the-mill JRPG style. Like, it wasn't nearly as unique beyond the setting. Like, it was set in high school, but until Persona 3, it didn't have the social links, it didn't have the social aspect. It was kind of a straight grind fest. There's no social links in Persona 2? No. That's... Part of the reason that Persona 3 was so well received is it was just so different from every other JRPG that came out. That's like one of the main reasons I like the game, is because of the social link. It's definitely one of the more unique things about it. It definitely makes it what it is. I really like the uh, the battle system too, where if you hit them, their weak point, they're down. That's something yeah. that I've never seen before, which I'm sure it's been someplace, but... I never seen that. Yeah, uh, Blackhawk just brought up a good point. You do talk. You can talk to demons in, t in battle, and then uh, if I remember, I'm just going from the straight like tutorials. Uh, you could like talk to them and stuff during combat, and then you could befriend them, which would give you the ability to summon them. You could get tarot card or, or taro. I don't know how to pronounce it. Cards from them. Pretty sure it's tarot. Either one works. Yeah, uh, you could get those from them, which would allow you to. I want to say strengthen personas. You could tick. You could scare them so they run away. Or you could piss them off so they attack you. I think I saw uh, that. So, I mean, that was that was kind of its its more unique twist on the genre. Um, but as long as you don't uh, pull a tarot, I'm fine. <laughs> tarot card. I'll call them carrot cards. It's okay. <laughs> Bunnies like them. Uh, but, I mean, beyond that, it really wasn't too different from what was coming out on the PlayStation 1 era, beyond the really unique story. I mean, in the story in it, I thought, some of, like, I thought the Dark Hour idea was really cool in Persona 3, you know, the idea, oh, hey, there's another hour that nobody knows about because, you know, we all, like, are asleep during it. 
I thought it, it's kind of one of those what if scenarios that is just really really cool and it's like why didn't I think of that mm -hmm. uh, Persona 2 or Innocent Sin I'm not sure if Eternal Punishment still has this but it has a system where if you spread a room if a rumor is being spread it becomes true <laughs> That's Which is ironic because it was a rumor being spread that caused the rumor to spread that became or caused it to become true. So you have a little bit of a self fulfilling prophecy there. But yeah, so you could actually pay the police department to spread rumors, which I thought was kind of a fun place to spread rumors. But yeah, so uh, like the earliest one you find out is that uh, you order a certain thing off a menu and like a certain couple things off a menu at a sushi bar or no, it was a ramen place. Uh, you, like. They, it all of a sudden becomes a weapon shop <laughs> and you go there and you're like oh uh, that's not true and then they're like oh really? So then you go spread the rumor and all of a sudden you have a weapon shop in your ramen bar. That's awesome. I mean it, it was it's a really really cool idea I think. And Wait a second, baby play? How many of these do they have? Because I've never seen this one. Uh, there's a lot of them actually. I just saw one that I hadn't seen before when I went through and uh, just got the True Freedom ending a couple hours ago. I, I was actually cracking up at it. It was pretty funny. Oh come on, that's that's totally the chaos one. Uh, baby play mean, uh, meaning she wants to get pregnant. Oh, I thought she meant dressing up like mean. a baby. <laughs> oh no, I, but when I first read, like I didn't pay attention to the question itself. Like when he was reading it, and I read it at the end, I'm like, "Baby play." No, I'm not gonna have sex with the baby. <laughs> I was like, I read that, I was like, "No, that's kind of illegal." <laughs> that's that's it's grounds tossing for me to a dump. baby back care. and forth between you. Yeah. I thought I thought it meant dressing up like a baby because I know some people do that, and it's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah for some of these bad guy was. A it was actually Hitler, if I remember, if I remember correctly. I did not remember that. I just looked at the end and felt like the ending of it was really, really, really cool. I thought it was well done. But I mean, story-wise, it seems great, and I could totally get into it with that. But I've also, I mean, playing it literally every five steps is a random encounter, which yeah, you don't have, you don't have to fight them all, but. Uh, I mean, because you do talk to some of them, but at the same time, it makes the game go by a lot slower than I'd like. Which is one of the best things about, uh, you're going to have to pull out one of those dark blocks. Yep. I mean... Uh... Uh, this is the ice this is the, uh, ice rink. Pull, pull the block, or you can either slide left or pull the block out. I'd slide left. You gotta be careful on this, because you have to slide to the right spots. Oh, that is so much easier than it is on hard. We're just gonna clear the levels. Just keep yeah, going. screw it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through it once we get to it. Go away. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna slack you, or smack you once. He does that every time, so nothing you can do. Just climb up the ice. Uh... <laughs> they just fell on top of each other. This creative block is actually going to be really useful, I think. Smack him. Don't let him smack you. Uh, hmm. pull, the, pull the block right in front of you out. Yeah, that works. Oh, you can just climb up right there. I could, but I don't want to. Where's your sense of adventure? It's gone. Along with my childhood. <laughs> No, that's not what I want. But that that works. I can do this. I can work with this. Yeah, I'm actually not bad. Ooh, push, push it out. There we go. Now you now you can work with it. Yeah, the other thing is that everybody kind of has. Ooh, that's not good. Push it out. Push it out the. Yeah, push it. Go back down. Go back down. Down, down. Left. Push, push right. You're okay. Good. Just yep. Push it right. Yep. All right. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Oh, go move. straight, go straight, go straight, go straight. Go straight forward. Oh, drop. Come on, drop. Yes, yeah, drop you. forward. You got the spider around. I know. Okay. I didn't see that for a second either. But the other thing about Persona 2 was that everybody was kind of the full arcana. Go, spider. Up and spider. Oh, yeah, I can drop the left. I was going to move the block over. 
I know you were. <laughs> I was like, no, spider. You gotta, learn how to, you gotta learn how to spider when you need to. That's definitely a technique you should work on. Just push the block, go back out, push the block straight out. There you go. What's the nice thing about ice is that if you push the block, it goes all the way out to the other end. Oh, really? I thought that you, uh, in Persona 2, everybody could change Personas. I mean, I think you were, some people were better with some types of Personas than others, but I thought it was pretty much everybody can do, use any Persona. Huh, I guess I was wrong there. I, my bad. So I get for trying to talk like an expert about a game I haven't played. <laughs> we... Alright. Alright, I got it. Yeah, he's got it. He doesn't need to go back. We're not we're not going for the gold here, so. Knock it. Uh, spider, spider. Uh, he's you got way. a spider here. Go away. Yeah, knock him down. Be evil. Should I push it over or keep going up here? Uh, you can push it over. Be good practice. Uh, that's one way to do it. Oh, that bastard! Smack him. Have a nice day. Hey, yeah, you pushed a nice block over five, so... Uh, let's see... I'll check what song that unlocks in a little bit. Alright. But... Like I said, I think if I had played it when I was first getting into JRPGs and when that was a little bit more the norm, I could still do it. And I, it's funny, because I do love a good classic JRPG. Like, my favorite Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy IX, just because it's so classic in its styling that I think it still works. But, uh, at the same time, that encounter rate is just insane. So I, that's me being a little bit of a hypocrite, but... Because I do want a n another good uh, old-school JRPG, and we haven't gotten one really since Final Fantasy IX. Or... Oh, that's one way to do it. Drop down, we can grab the money while you're here. Might as well. No reason not to, right? Uh... Go ahead and grab it. Um, my favorite Final Fantasy is. Oh right, nine. I have to hit the button. <laughs> I also think that six probably ha is really, really good. Uh, four. I is need good. to play my four and six. They're on my to-do list. My problem with four was that I got to the point where I could beat most of the bosses without leveling up at all. So I think I got to the final area at level fifty, which made every random encounter basically a boss. <laughs> So I'd have to go fight an enemy and then go back to the town and heal. Because I don't use items, of course. I wouldn't have any uh, MP to heal with, so... This is where he dies, I think, after this night. Talk to him, see... Oh yeah, he's gonna die. Oh no, he might live. Uh, I don't remember this conversation, though. He might die. No, he's alive. He lives, if you talk to him here. <laughs> I never had a name. Nice. But, no, that was the one problem with me, was that the boss to normal enemy balance was kind of bad in 4, and they fixed that really well in, in 6, although the problem with 6 was that uh, Saban and Edgar, early on, are kind of overpowered, because you can basically hit every enemy, do a ton of damage, and there's no repercussions as far as MP goes. Uh, I know that tra changes later on when you want to start using Terra and uh, Celes because those two just kick ass. But does it matter which one I choose? I know you're gonna say no, but um, that's your dad's fault. That's that part much. of the past. I'd say that's part of the past. Okay. We'll do this oh. like uh, Naka and Ogre. I'm already older than Dad was when he died. <laughs> yeah, Edgar's crossbow is ridiculous, as well as his drill and chainsaw. Both of those are kind of overpowered. Let's talk to him again. Oh yeah, <laughs> super. <laughs> oh no, there, six has its quirks, but I have to, the story in it is really, really good. It shows no offense, JB. It really did the ensemble cast much better than any game has since. I mean, there's 13 characters. Every one of them, just about, is worth using and worth learning about. That's one thing I didn't like about 13 is that that uh, there were, there you had six three good basically. characters. It's funny because I actually like the characters in 13 more than most people do. I actually, I did not have a problem with Hope. I did not have a problem with Vanille. Mm -hmm. The character I had the biggest problem with was Lightning because she was so generic to me. 
Well, by by good I meant good to use in battles. Like oh. like uh, there was there was no reason to change your battle party. That's the only thing I didn't like. Yeah, it didn't give me much incentive to do that. Just because of the way the roles were set up, there really yeah. wasn't much incentive to just experiment with other ones. Basically, if you have Lightning, Fang, and Hope, you're fine. And if someone's too difficult, you just have Fang be a Sentinel, and you're fine. I mean, yeah. the only thing you have to worry about is is Lightning getting one shot. I don't know. I'm not going to beat a dead horse there. We've been over yeah. this how many times, so... But, I don't know. I, I do like the cast in Final Fantasy XIII more than a lot of people do, but... For sheer qu or quantity of great characters, it's really hard to beat Final Fantasy VI. Like, yeah, Shadow was really just a side character, and he was uh, incredibly deep. Uh -huh. uh, and you could almost pick anybody you wanted to in the second half of the game to play with. Like, if you wanted to, you could beat the entire second half of the game. I think the only character you were required to find was Locke, I thought, or I think. I know Terra wasn't even required for the second half of the game. You could skip her, although there was no real reason to. So you, I think you could beat the game with just... Sellers and lock. Yeah, I know that sometime in that game you, you kind of split the parties up completely and... and uh, it's a really old game so I, could, I probably should spoil it for you because it's really easy to find anyway. Uh, yeah. Do you mind? I mean... I don't know, I'll, I'll wait a little while, time before okay. I get spoiled on it. Yeah, I mean, when I when I say... I mean, actually I get ticked off when I see them using Terra as the main character of like Fur Dissidia because really sell us as the main character of the game. She's not, like, or as close to the main character as you can. It was a true ensemble game. But well, Sela's I'd like to see more from every every game. I mean, aside from, like, uh, from the ones I've played, Cloud was the main character in 7. There's absolutely no way you could say anything about that. But even in 8, Squall isn't really, I mean, you, you use him the most, but he's... He's not the only one that matters, you know? Uh, it was pretty clearly from Squall's per perspective. Yeah. I mean, Final Fantasy IX, it's very clearly from Zidane's. I just tried uh, jumping here with, like, Final Fantasy XIII, too. I, I literally just hit B thinking I was going to jump. Too much problem of with that having game. The Ellis <laughs> in the city would be that her, I mean, it would be really hard to differentiate her from Terra. Uh huh. So what they should have done is that they should have made Sela's a swappable skin for Terra. So that you could play as Celez or Terra with basically the same move set, different voice actor. That's why it would be really nice for them to have on a uh, like PlayStation Three because they could do that real easily. And it's actually something I think Nintendo should do for Smash Brothers. Uh -huh. Like that way you could play as Shadow, say instead of Sonic. I mean, different voice actor, but I mean they don't really need to change the move set that much. You Fox, don't have to Sokko change the move set at all for Sonic yeah. or Shadow uh, and Sonic. Well, Shadows, you could if you wanted to, but at right. the same time, it's a real reason to. Same thing with, like, uh, you know, Fox, Wolf, and uh, Fal Falco. They really could roll all of those into a single character space. Milk so would disagree with you there. He thinks that they're all complete unique Well, the problem characters. with me is that one of them is Fox is clearly better than the others. Right. So there's no real reason for them to try to change that. I mean, and that's, this is my personal opinion. I mean, I know people that will argue to the day they die that Roy is somehow better than Marth, but... <laughs> And there is no way that's true. If you watch any competitive player that uses Roy, they will get laughed out of a room. You mean Ike? Because no, I'm talking about. I'm just going with melee. Oh, okay. Like there are people that still argue with me. Oh no, Roy is so much better than Marth. No, you never, ever, ever used Roy instead of Marth. Like, the only argument I've ever heard is that maybe in a four-on-four -four match, it's better to use Roy because he hits harder or something. And I can maybe see that. All right, like chat people, who should I do? Do you like children? Love them or hate them? Love them? Hate them. I have a friend that is actually deathly afraid of having kids. Oh, no. That is his biggest fear in life. Like, he is just terrified by kids. I don't like babies. I'm fine with, with toddlers and older, but I... I don't know. It was just funny. No, we, we made fun of him for it a lot, too. All right, Alto says hates him. Hate him. <laughs> we'll, we'll even you back up too. That's your answer. But yeah, I was a little too much on the. Uh... Yeah. By the, way, the other character that if they threw her in, uh, do it a seam, I would have bought it even though I already have Dissidia. And they didn't do it, which is why part of the reason I don't own uh, do it a seam is that they didn't put Beatrix in. Uh huh. 
Beatrix from Final Fantasy IX, you have not seen her. She is probably one of my favorite characters in any game ever. I mean, she is that awesome. So, I, I mean, it was a long shot because she's playable in the party for a good uh, 20 minutes. But her moves, I mean, she's just that unique of a character, though. I wish that they had at least Fang in Duodecim. I mean, Lightning's an okay character and all, and yeah. but but it would have been so much better to have uh, Fang or or anyone really, aside from just That's having a, Lightning. I mean, they're all problem. unique. Yeah. Uh, on uh, yeah, basically, Beatrix was Leo from Six on steroids, except she was even cooler. I need to start playing nine. I you even do. have it. Don't yeah, you have it. Yeah. Uh, which Sid Alto? There's only thirteen of them. <laughs> There's actually more than thirteen of them. There's at least fourteen of them. That's true, because especially if you can't spin offs. There's two <laughs> and twelve. I really, I really hate this, this level. The Doom Bride has killed me so many times. Uh, any of the levels with Catherine chasing you are just brutal. It's like she really wants to kill you. Oh, and then this ice move almost always kills you if, you, if it hits you. Yeah. Uh, I wish that they didn't put Vaughn in from 12 and do it a scene. That was... Yeah. He is the worst main character in any Final Fantasy. I mean, Ash and Balthier were the main characters in that game, for all intents and purposes. What? Oh, you pulled a block out above where she was going to stab. Yeah, but she was she was two red space. Uh, whatever. Uh, it, she does that. It, it's frustrating. She it's even worse because I've actually had her stab a gap between where I was, and uh -huh. I tried to jump the gap, and I still died immediately, despite the fact that I somehow just. Uh, no, Va Vaughn was just an incredibly generic character, and he had no relevance to the plot. Like as far like he wasn't the driving force behind the plot. It was Balthier, Ash. And Boss were the were the guys that drove the plot in that game. Exactly. Vaughn and Pinello were just along for the ride. I I didn't like either Pinello or or Vaughn that much. I mean, I could I could live with. Uh... Come on, come on, come on! Don't die! Ah, oh, yeah. frick! I mean, there are <laughs> reasons that uh, really it was Balthier, Boss, and uh, Ash that were the big ones. But I mean, they're really. There was one argument, I haven't played all of uh, 12, so I didn't quite understand it, but I did read an argument about how uh, Vaughn is a lot more important to the plot than he first seems. He isn't. Uh, <laughs> no, the, the, the argument actually convinced a lot of people, and, I, and so I'll give that the benefit of the doubt, but when you, have to, when you have to have somebody really think it out and explain why he's actually a relevant main character, undo. When you have to explain why the guy is the main character of the game, he's not the main character. Exactly. Uh, it, it's kind of like the argument that you can... I don't remember the alt argument also. It was a while ago. I was just kind of working aboard uh, on Game of FAQs and somebody brought it up. I think it was the Dissidia and you what just got a block. Frick? I saw that coming too. My bad. What was that? That didn't happen in easy. Uh, yeah, she throws blocks at you. Why is he still saying whoa? Huh? <laughs> well, I don't get sound from the game, so. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't get to hear the uh, constant edges and uh, new records. I'm sure you're so sad about that. Uh, actually, I am. I, I, I do like the new record voice, actually. I might be one of the few people that does, but you have no idea how nice it is to know when you actually move up. Undo, 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 undo. I'm it. <laughs> it takes a while you, for it to actually... If you, get hit by the, if you get hit by the ice block, just mash the undo button until you undo, because otherwise you are going to die. I, I, uh, uh. Even if you don't die, you're kind of stuck where, where she throws you, so it's... No, it, 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 it straight up kills you. There's no doubt about it. Because if that if you if you somehow survive and lose yourself in the ice, which I don't know how you actually do. You just kinda keep sliding, I think until you fall, like three blocks. I but have when that happens, uh, you, I have survived you go to the red area. Yeah. 
That's, so, I mean, that's the thing. You go right to the red area, so there's really nothing which, you can do which about it. straight up kills you, basically. Especially uh, on hard, a lot of time when you climb, there's no way if you fall back down to climb up to where you are, or where you were. So yeah, she's you'll see chucking blocks where they're, to, where they're gonna Crap. hit. Crap! I saw the, the red block and I got scared. Yeah. No. Nah. I'm losing pillows. Ah, uh, you've got how many of them? If I beat the game on hard with 20 pillows at the end of the game, you don't need to worry about this. I wonder what happens if I go this way. I get a pillow! That's probably a good idea. <laughs> High-pitched voices are great! Please! Alright. Thank you. Actually might be faster to climb on the right side looking at it. You think so? Yeah, it, it makes sense. They don't put they put the pillows usually on the easier side of the tower to climb. So Ooh, Inazuma, Inazuma, Inazuma! Yeah. Uh, just let her stab, do not pull. I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> I think she knocked me off the edge. No, you you stepped on an ice block. Oh, was it ice? Yeah, so I was saying don't pull, and then you try to take a step right onto an ice block. I didn't see it as ice. Let's just try sticking to this side. Start Inazuma. In. You can spider over to that and start going up. I'm not used to hearing a joystick clinking when. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was just, you really might want to start trying with the D-pad. I I can't do anything with the D-pad. Seriously, it, it just doesn't work. Nope. Uh, Inazuma, you're dead. Yeah. I saw that coming. I saw that coming a uh, half second after I hit it. If you see a wall in front of you that's more than three blocks wide, or that looks like it's four blocks tall, but three wide, immediately just start Inazuma. -ing. Like, that should be, like, reflex, is if you see a three block wall in front of you, I start Inazuma -ing before I actually even think about doing a tower, or a staircase. Oh. Sometimes it just doesn't want to do what I tell it to. <laughs> Crap. Very good, good job. They're not just overpowered, they freaking... Uh, I've said it so many oh, times, oh. they are the worst boss, or worst things I've ever seen as far as rubber banding. Like, you see, JB's... Uh, you lost your combo there, I was gonna say. You're dead. Get up, get up! Almost dead. Can you change camera? <laughs> Uh, that's the other thing, is that on boss fights, the camera does not like to cooperate with you. Push that up. Oh, I was going to say, push that one. But Stay there! I didn't need to do that. Uh, or did I? I don't even know. Drop. That works. Spider on the back. I hate spider. Spider over. I hate spider. I hate it so much. Checkpoint! Yes! Uh, don't. Do not go right in here. Oh, it turns, no, it doesn't turn into crack box. I'm surprised. Alright. The camera here is so hard to... Crap! Uh, that's death. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so close there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you were sliding to a death there. <laughs> we keep going. Crap. Oh, don't, stop, don't, stop, don't stop. I do, I do. I'm hitting it. Mash I'm hitting the undo button. <laughs> He hit the undo button before he hit the edge, which apparently saves you. Uh, I saw that coming. That... That must be homing in on you or something. Because it, it didn't it, even... It does a little bit, but you also have some time. Like, it didn't you'll see even it turn pause. red. You'll see it pause in midair, and when that happens, it's starting to move forward. 
I don't know. I no. got hit by that. No. I ever have. Dead. I went right. I promise you, I hit right. Freaking A. Punch you, Xbox. Don't hate the Xbox. Hate the controller. It's no, great hate the first Xbox. Person. This is the Xbox. Seriously. <laughs> it's it's made for first-person shooters. It's not made for 2D platforms. Because this basically could have been made for the Super Nintendo, I think, if they really wanted to. Like, as far as the isometric block thing, that's been done for a while. No, no, no. I don't oh know how I survived there. Alright, what do I do? Uh, pull, undo. Yeah. That's the first thing you're going to do. What do I do here? Alright, you're going to pull the block towards you. Pull this Pull it towards you. Nope. Undo. Pull this one towards Turn left. Me? Yep, pull that one towards oh, you. Okay, I see. Yep. Yeah, what is this, JB? Uh, five Xboxes for you? At least. Hey, you think about it this way. You're one of Microsoft's top customers. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I was actually... <laughs> I'm not even going for that coin. Screw that. It said perfect. I think. It'll it say lied, that when you but get, it said get, perfect. Get. You might have gotten one from the checkpoint on, actually. But that was actually one of the biggest things about me getting a PlayStation 3 instead of uh, Xbox. There were two things. Number one, PlayStation 3 had built-in wireless, which when I got my PlayStation... or the Xbox didn't at the time. Which I'm not going to either buy a hundred dollar or attachment to my Xbox for the hook up to the internet, and I'm not going to install wiring to my room so I can hook up to the internet. And that's the reason I buy an you play Xbox as opposed to PlayStation Three anyway is because of Xbox Live. So yeah, but you have to like, pay for Xbox Live. Yep. I mean, which I actually don't do at all, so because I don't play first person shooters, so uh, that that wasn't a problem for me. Uh, and by the time I bought the $100 attachment for it to play online, yeah. it was the same price as the PlayStation 3 anyway. I was like, well, I'll get, Versus th I'll get Versus 13 and regular 13 if I got the PlayStation 3. So I just kept factoring all this in, and there's no reason for me to get the Xbox. Especially when you factor in the uh, Red Ring of Death. I mean, I would almost trust a PlayStation to buy a PlayStation 3 used. I would never recommend somebody buy an Xbox 360 used. Yeah, I've bought five used and have had five fail, so. So, the only defective system I've ever gotten was I got, my Wii when I got it was straight up defective out of the box. Like, I don't, I'm wondering if they didn't install an operating system on it. Because I'd plug it in and the blue light would come on and nothing would happen. Yeah, well, the thing with... With like, it that. almost makes you wonder, like, is if that's what, like, when they don't install the operating system on the Wii, if that's what it does, is the light turns on. The thing with that so. is, I mean, you can have a. I don't know any guy named Steve. <laughs> um, you you can have any system fail. There's going to be Sony's that fail and Nintendos that oh, yeah. fail. But it's just they don't have. I think the original Xbox failure rate for the first generation was over fifty percent. That's just it might, it might it might be up to the sixty percent actually. I mean, I mean really. and you look at it and it's just not a great design. I mean, uh, you have that the power brick on it is larger than the controller. I I could not believe that when I first saw it. And I have the slim model even, and the the power brick shocked me, like with how big it was. It was almost half the size of the system by itself. I don't. I don't really know how that's a horrible thing. It's just extra. Well, I mean, it, it just to me, it screams that, like, it, it just doesn't show like they knew what they were doing, really. Like they, it, I mean, there's no doubt the original the 360 was rushed out of the gate to beat the PlayStation 3 and whatever Nintendo was going to come up with to market. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that that was what was going on with it. Probably. So, I mean, they took some major design sacrifices, and that was one of them. Was putting a power brick the size of an actual brick. No, I've had smaller bricks. Yeah, it's... But yeah, uh, I mean, I like the idea of the 360, but 
I've had so many failures with it, and even this one, it's it's screwing up the disc read, and it's just... You, it took me three or four tries to get, get it to read Catherine this morning. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I uh, started working on getting everything set up an hour before I had to stream, because I didn't know if I'd even be able to play the game an hour later. Just and really I took a 20 minute nap and got up right at 11 o'clock my time, 12 your time. And, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't even know. You're ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but, but I don't have any sins. 